then the dielectric breakdown this is a very important property of dielectric materials when the dielectric material is placed in an electric field the field is increased to the critical field so the dielectric loses its insulating property and becomes conducting this is called dielectric breakdown uh, the different type of dielectric breakdowns are intrinsic breakdown thermal breakdown electrochemical breakdown defect breakdown and discharge breakdown the first one is intrinsic breakdown when a dielectric is placed in an electric field then the electrons in the valence band having the sufficient energy and go to the conduction band hence become conducting electrons so the large amount of current flows this is called intrinsic breakdown the characteristics of intrinsic breakdowns are it uh, it can occur even at low temperature and also in room temperature this requires relatively large electric fields this kind of breakdown occurs in thin samples then thermal breakdown when a dielectric is subjected to an electric field heat is generated the temperature inside the dielectric increases and heat may produce breakdown this type of breakdown is known as electric breakdown um, the characteristics of thermal breakdown it occurs at higher temperatures it depends on the size and shape of the dielectric material this requires moderate electric fields then discharge breakdown when these type of dielectrics are subjected to electric field the gas present in the material will easily ionize and hence produce large ionization current and does known as discharge breakdown the characteristics of discharge breakdowns are it occurs at low voltages it occurs due to the presence of occluded gas bubbles and it depends upon the frequency of applied voltage then electrochemical breakdown the mobility of ions are increased the insulation resistance decreases and hence dielectric becomes conducting this type of breakdowns is called chemical and electrochemical breakdown the characteristics of electrochemical breakdowns are it occurs only at low temperature this is used to determine the leakage current density of ions and dipoles in the, in the material it is oscillated oscillated by high temperature this occurs only at lower temperature then fifth one is defect breakdown some dielectric materials have defects such as cracks pores and blow holes these vacant position may have impurities which leads to breakdown as called defect breakdown the figure shows the defect breakdown then remedies for breakdown mechanism to avoid breakdown the dielectric material should have the following properties first one is it should have high resistivity it must possess high dielectric strength and have sufficient mechanical strength it it should be fire proof it must have less density there should not any be any defects it must be in the pure form then application of dielectrics 
the dielectric materials have three major application it is used to, mm, as a dielectric medium in capacitor it, it is used as insulating materials in transformer it is used in industries and dielectric heating the first one is dielectrics in capacitors if dielectrics to be used in capacitor it should possess the following properties it have high dielectric strength it possess high dielectric strength it have high specific resistant and also it has low dielectric loss Applications of dielectrics the thin sheets of papers filled with synthetic oils or used as dielectrics in the capacitor then it is used in power capacitors and mica is used as dielectrics in discrete capacitors and an electrolytic solution of sodium phosphate is used in wet type electrolytic capacitors and it is used in dry type electrolyte, electrolytic capacitors and also these materials are used in disc capacitors and high frequency capacitors. Then insulating materials in transformers. If dielectrics to act as insulating materials, it should possess the following properties. It have low dielectric constant. It possess low dielectric loss. It must have high resistance. It possess high dielectric strength. And it should have adequate chemical stability. It must have high moisture resistance then applications the ceramics and polymers are used as insulators the pvc that is polyvinyl chloride is used to manufacture bikes batteries and cables here liquid dielectrics such as petroleum oil silicon oils are widely used in transformers circuit breakers etc Then synthetic oils are used as a coolant and insulin in high voltage transformers. Then gases such as vacuum, air, nitrogen, sulfur, hexafluoride are used in X-ray tubes which is high voltage gas filled pressure cables, coolants respectively. Third unit is over. So study well for your exams, stay home and stay safe. Thank you students.